Well, this should be an exciting video for you because it's very interesting to me and I think you guys might find it interesting too. Mark Seaver from North American Aerospace and Mike Mullet from Laser Aviation were just here for a few days to scan my cruiser and the Super Duty. Now they brought with them a $90,000 scanner that they use to scan areas of the airplane so that they can make the molds to make fairings like the one I have on the upper wing strut here. So we'll start off, I'll let Mike tell you a little bit about how he does what he does. Good evening, Mike Mullet, uh, coming to you from Mark uh, Penzenstetler's house in Linden, Michigan. And uh, we had an awesome day here, scanning with the Creoform Handyscan Black Elite. Well, we scanned a number of fairings, scanned the airplane, wingtip, uh, fuselage, uh, interior. It just had an awesome day. Uh, Mark's been very accommodating. We even went flying, beautiful day and we couldn't have done it without Mark. It was just a, a fantastic day, as I've uh, reiterated a number of town, times, but it was. It was just a great time, accomplished a lot, scanned about uh, five, six hours, scanned numerous parts, and uh, looking forward to uh, having Mark uh, sell some of these fairings that are created by uh, Mark Sievers out of Eden, Oklahoma, North American Avi Aerospace Aviation Company. Uh, just uh, great people that I'm associated with, and it's always fun to scan airplanes. I don't care whether it's a light sport. Uh, this particular model is uh, uh, made by Zenith, and uh, we all had fun today. So uh, hope to see you again. Uh, we'll be putting out more videos as time goes by, showing you how and what we're doing and why we're doing it. So some of the uh, process that we do, uh, once we get the uh, hand scanner up and uh, running and uh, configured properly, <clears throat> we place targets around the area that we're going to scan. And what that does is give a geographical reference to the scanner so that it'll know where it's at in space. And once we do that, we uh, finalize the scan and then uh, take it into either SolidWorks or PolyWorks via some of the uh, formats that we produce and uh, get it to the engineers so that they can make the tools to pull the fairings and uh, do the modifications as required and necessary. This particular uh, handy scan has an accuracy of 0 0.00025 millimeters and 0 0.0009 inches. So it's very accurate. Uh, it's very fast. Little backstory. I was at a client's office or a hangar a couple months ago down in Florida and the older handy scan that I had uh, wasn't performing properly. So what I had to do was find somebody in Florida that had a uh, scanner and come to find out the one that I rented was a handy scan black, a lot newer model, faster, more accurate than the model that I was using. So I turned the old one in, got about a 10% uh, reduction in price because of the uh, turn-in and residual value, and bought the HandyScan Black, and I've just been elated with the uh, progress that we've made. Again, it's very accurate, very fast, and um, it supports all the engineering that we're doing currently. What's really interesting and fun uh, with the HandyScan Black, we once we get the target set and the uh, equipment has been calibrated properly, we will go and scan, and it's a lot like painting with light, but it's very fast and very accurate, and we just move over the surface with the targets that are positioned on the aircraft, and just move back and forth and capture the data. It's just an amazing tool, and again, as I've said before, it's a lot of fun. Some of the areas that we scanned were up around the windshield, where the wing root intersects with the fuselage for fairings here to uh, eliminate air intrusion into the cockpit. Some of the areas that we have scanned previously were the strut to body, the landing gear to body, and again, just moving back and forth, up and down and around, it captures the data just perfectly. Here on the empennage, again, additional fairings, uh, a little bit better, different modification for the fairings for the uh, vertical stabilizer, the horizontal stabilizer, and again, just to keep the in, uh, air intrusion uh, flowing uh, away from the openings, but also aerodynamically, it just adds to a cleaner, smoother flying airplane. Okay. 
Some of the other tasks that we accomplished today was scanning the interior for either carpet or a nice rubber mat that you can take out and wash off and throw right back in there, very durable. But we scanned both the uh, aft section here and then in front of where the seat will be going, we also scanned this area for applications of rug and or a rubber mat. One of the very fun things that we did today was scan this fairing and it will soon be available on kitplaneenthusiast.com. Uh, Mark Penson Settler built this and I think it's a really cool application and just a very pretty, if you will, fairing for the uh, horizontal stabilizer. In wrapping up this evening, more information, kitplaneenthusiast.com, laseraviation.com, or northamericanarrow.com. Any of those websites will allow you to find out more information about the fairings that we're building. And once we again collect the data, we move on into the post-processing, we build the tools, we build the actual fairings, cut the carpets, and many other products, sun visors, windshields, you name it. If you're interested and you're flying light sport or experimental aircraft, please get in touch with us. Thank you. Now, one of the really exciting things coming up is we did scan the wingtips for the Super Duty. I think with our wingtips, we're gonna have a better fit. And then also, the plan right now is to design these wingtips with an access door and a long tube that goes in through the lightning hole in the ribs to where you can open the door, put in a fishing rod or two, close the door, and then go land on some sandbars. That's going to be cool, and that's what I'll be installing in my wings. Now, like Mike mentioned, we also did scan a lot of the interior where we'll have rubber mats available, the anti-skid tape that I have where your heels go on the rudder pedals, all that stuff will be available on the kitplaneenthusiast.com website. Speaking of the website, guys, head over to the website. We have all the currently available fairings. We have brake lines and oil lines and fuel lines from aircraft specialty. And of course, we have our own line of very comfortable seats available for any of the high wing Zenith airplanes. So we all had a really nice few days here in the hangar working and just enjoying this hobby. Both Mike and Mark were doing what they love to do. I was doing what I love to do. I even got to take both of them up for a ride in the cruiser. And again, for both of them, it was the first time they've ever been in a Zenith airplane. So it was pretty fun to show off the great visibility and just the fantastic airplane that it is. So everybody, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. I've always wondered how they did laser scanning, and now I know, and now you guys know. Hey, we'll see you again on the next video.